Any constituency statements by honourable members? I call the parliamentary secretary. Uh, thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. I'm very pleased to rise, to rise to speak about the planned Hornsby Karingai Women's Shelter, which will provide temporary supported accommodation for women in times of crisis, such as homelessness and domestic violence. The project aims to provide a safe, non-threatening environment for women to assist them through their emotional and physical crisis. The statewide organisation Women's Community Shelters is providing substantial financial and organisational support, and I want to acknowledge their leader, Annabel Daniel. And I also want to acknowledge the local committee which has been established, which is busy raising funds towards both the setup costs and the ongoing operational costs of the planned Hornsby Karingo Women's Shelter. And I want to acknowledge particularly John Lockyer for his work in leading that important committee. The aim is to have the premises secured for this shelter operating uh, secured and open for business if all goes to plan before the end of this year. Uh, the operating expenses of the shelter will be in the order of uh, several hundred thousand dollars a year, so it's a major exercise to get this established. Now, one in two women who are homeless or escaping domestic violence are turned away from crisis accommodation every day. And groups at particular risk include older single women, migrant women and women with little family support. Now, there's a perception that women on Sydney's upper North Shore don't face issues such as homelessness or domestic violence, but that is sadly not true. There is today no crisis accommodation to assist homeless women anywhere between Lane Cove and the Central Coast. Uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, I was pleased to be able to lend my support. Each year I organise what's called the Bradfield Comedy Debate to raise money for a worthwhile local cause. This year we were joined by prominent ex-Wallaby Peter Fitzsimons, together with other speakers Bruce Maher, Andrew Bell, Warren Lee, Steph D'Souza and Abigail McCarthy. We debated the topic that we've lost that larrikin spirit. We had over 200 people in attendance and we raised $22,000 over $22,000, which will go towards the establishment of the Hornsby Karingai Women's Shelter. I want to thank all who were involved. Uh, not only did we have an entertaining afternoon, but very importantly, we raised significant funds to add to the excellent work being done by the local organising committee. And uh, when their work comes to fruition, fortunately, there will then be a place available to women. Uh, in the Hornsby and Karingai areas should they need safe, temporary, supported accommodation uh, in times of crisis such as homelessness or domestic violence. So I congratulate uh, all of the uh, local people, service organisations and so on who have got behind the planned Hornsby Karingai Women's Shelter. I'd like to thank all who are involved in the Bradfield Comedy Debate and I look forward to the shelter getting started and meeting the needs of women in crisis on the Upper North.